It's Pastor Allen, and we're talking about hope. And in this session, particularly about well-placed hope. I think we all get the idea of hope, of what it is. We've placed our hope in a person and been disappointed. That's a part of life. Uh, the reality is we've probably been disappointed and we've been disappointments to others. That's the nature of this journey. But I want to ask you to think with me for just a moment about your hope in a very specific way. Think about it as a commodity, something you can hold in your hand. Now, I'm going to take a beautiful crystal bowl and we're going to take the facets, the components of your hope and place them in there. I want you to think about each expression of hope as the most beautiful Christmas ornament you've ever seen. Beautiful, delicate, fragile. And we're going to place those expressions of hope in this crystal bowl. You've got hope for yourself, hope for your future, hope for your family, hope for your career, hope for your life. You've got all kinds of expressions of hope and we've collected them in this beautiful crystal bowl, the most dazzling array of colors, and they represent so much of your future, your wishes and your dreams. Now here's the question, on what does your hope rest? Where do we place this collection of our hope? Do I hold it myself? You see, if I'm holding it, I understand how fragile that is. If I stumble, if I make a mistake, if my health breaks, everything is made vulnerable. What do I place that bowl of hope on? Do I place it on a government, a political party? Do I place it on another person? Here's my suggestion. We want to put our hope on the Word of God. I want to read you one simple verse. It's Psalm 119. You are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your Word. Your hope is a beautiful thing, especially if you will secure it with the Word of God. If you've been disappointed, I want to encourage you to be willing to lay the disappointment down and turn your face to the Lord and say, I put my trust in you. Let's say a prayer. Father, I thank you for your word, for the strength it is to us, for the stability it is. Lord, our hearts need healing. We've been disappointed. Our hearts have been broken. And I thank you. You're close to the brokenhearted and that we can trust you with our hopes for today and tomorrow. In Jesus name. Amen. You're important to God. Don't you give up.